Hey guys, Chris here, aka Brickinit, and today we're taking a look at this set, which is the Bills Boomer Barrage. It's a £25 set in the UK, and it's pretty expensive for what it is. If you're new to the channel and like watching awesome LEGO videos, then please consider subscribing as I pretty much do a video every single day. So let's get into the review. So quickly going through these set details, obviously this is a Super Mario theme and it's from Wave 1, so all the Super Mario sets released August 1st of 2020 worldwide. It contains 132 pieces and it has three buildable characters technically as the Boomer Bill Barrage, the Shy Guy, and whether you consider the Super Mushroom to be a buildable character or not. It's got an RRP of £24.99 in the UK or $30 in America or €30 Euros in Europe, which gives it a pretty damn high price per piece of 18.9p in the UK or 22.7 cents in America and Europe. So that is really, really, really high. But that's the case with a lot of these Super Mario sets, although I think this one is probably the highest price per piece I have seen. So is it justified? Well, let's take a look at the set. So first things first, let's take a look at the buildable characters in which they're considered. And we'll take a look at this one, which is the Boomer Bills themselves. Now, these ones are actually different to the ones that come in the blind bags. That is a bullet bill. And these are a lot, lot bigger than those. And these actually are rounded, whereas the other ones are square. I think these are completely new because I've never heard of Boomer Bill. I think the thing that they closely resemble is actually Bonsai Bill, which are in the Super Mario World game in on the Super Nintendo. But nonetheless, they are pretty cool. They are a lot bigger than the uh, the blind bag character. In fact, I'll get one of those out now just for comparison. So as you can see, the Boomer Bill is a lot, lot bigger than the one from the blind bags, the Bullet Bill, and it doesn't have arms, so it's whether you consider this one to be cooler or not. But I do really like the playability that's added with this level for this one. But anyway, that is the difference in the two Bullet characters. So this guy actually clips onto the level like this, and there's two of them, so it's pretty hard to display him. If you wanted to display him separately, you'd have to kind of find some way of mounting this setup but it's on this kind of bracketed piece here because it spins around to do with the actual playability of the level which we'll get into so next let's take a look at the super mushroom so i don't know whether you consider this one actually a buildable character or not but it's pretty cool nonetheless it does kind of look like toad's head and it has the same piece but this one actually has a bit here where you can actually hit to interact with so that is one of the barcodes where obviously toad doesn't have that because toad you talk to him mario wouldn't attack him or anything so what this does is it actually gives you a mushroom on mario's chest which allows you to then fall over and not take any damage the first time whereas if you fall over without a mushroom mario kind of goes a bit wobbly and he can't actually interact with something for a while so this kind of helps you with that time issue which goes quite nicely with the playability features of this level but other than that this is all printed white pieces here they are a little bit not too white i wish they were a bit whiter but they're not bad nonetheless and if i take this off you'll see how it's built it has a brick with the two eyes on there and then this has a little angle bracket to create that look to the mushroom very clever and it does look quite cool and definitely does look like the super mushrooms from the mario games and then last but not least is shy guy one of my favorite characters in this wave one now i think shy guy just looks absolutely awesome this is a one massive rounded towel here with the printed eyes and the printed mouthpiece that's actually brick built there for his little belt but it's really cool nonetheless and this guy has the two by three feet which is quite unique uh, this one's only on bowser jr in this character i think but this one's in blue so it's a unique piece for this character and he has these little arms on actual these are just the uh the sloped pieces on little technic pieces there that actually make him spin which is quite nice and then on the back he has a rounded tile with the shy guy unique shy guy logo there on him so he's pretty cool and there you go so that's the three characters technically so that's a reason why this one is apparently $24.99 instead of $17.99 because the $17.99 sets actually only contain two characters whereas more of the $24.99 ones like this one and the Piranha Plant Slide have three characters so this one considers that you're getting almost four actually two Boomer Bills, a Shy Guy and a Super Mushroom so whether you consider that to be the right price but there's only one gameplay feature on this level and that is actually this rotating piece here. So as you rotate around, if you go on the easier difficulty or the hard difficulty, they both have one of the barcodes each. And as you go on that, it actually spins around the boomer bills and it can knock you off the level. So let's get the start and end pipe as well as the Mario himself. And we'll just put these over here so you can see what the level would look like, just this level with the start and the start warp pipe and the end flag and we'll have a quick go of the level so let's start mario up and i'll move the uh the little swing over to the beginning so that it actually makes sense so there we go 
I put him on the easy one to start with. So as you go past, you can see that you can kind of dodge the uh, barrage bills. And if they hit you when you're on this one, it really takes a couple of hits to actually get him to fall over. Whereas if you're on the more difficult one, this will take a lot longer to do. So let's try and do it very carefully. Ooh. Let's try and get past. There we go. And then over here, we can have the mushroom. And he has a mushroom on his tummy now to show that he uh, actually has a mushroom, which is pretty cool. And then if you go over to the shy guy... He just does a generic, just giving you a coin, so not too much. So realistically, what you want to do is actually have the mushroom before the uh, the slide. So there we go, see what we got from that. There we go. 28 points. So not too great, because I think this the, the slide things do do quite well, but you have to kind of go backwards and forwards quite quickly, and I wasn't using that to explain the coins anyway. So basically what it's trying to get you to do is use the mushroom first over here so then if you do fall off you're not taking any time penalties on and actually playing the level which is quite nice at least you're getting the super mushroom with that and it kind of adds nicely to the playability features of this level. Okay so what are my overall thoughts on this set? Well if you like Shy Guy, you like the Super Mushroom, and you like these Bullet Bills, or these the Boomer Bills, uh, then you're going to have to get this set to get those, because the Super Mushroom is pretty rare. I think it's only available in the Monty Moore pack that came as an exclusive with the set. It also comes in this set, and it also comes in the Poly bag. So I think it is kind of uncommon to get. Uh, Shy Guy is exclusive to this set, as well as Boomer Bills. So if you wanted these two unique characters, you can only get them in this set. However, I do think this one is very expensive, so I would probably hold off and see if you can get this one for a little bit cheaper, but I do think that the Shy Guy is a must, and I think Lego knew that as well, and that's why they added it to this actual set. I think the playability features are quite cool, but it is still a very small level, and it definitely does feel like a $17.99 set to me. And in fact, I think Womp's Lava Trouble and Desert Pokey actually are more fun levels to play, and I do think they look slightly cooler as well, in my opinion. But let me know in the comments down below if you've got this set or whether you're going to be getting this one. Like I said, it does have Shy Guy and he's definitely one of my favourite buildable characters from Wave 1. So that's kind of my reasonings. But let me know if you've got this one, whether you're going to skip it or whether you're going to buy it for Shy Guy. I'd really like to know. But other than that, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And have an absolute awesome day. Hello, it's me, Mario. And if you would like to see any more videos... Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or for some more playlists over here, check out this one or for some more suggested videos, check out this one. Goodbye! Now let me go find my Yoshi.